Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, and thanks for joining us again on Celebrating Act 2. I'm John Coleman, and my business partner and co-founder of Celebrating Act 2, Art Kirsch, is here. Hello. And boy, Art, aren't we the spring... Well, it's past spring. We're the summertime twins. Does that make us, does they, does that make us summer chickens? <laughs> Since we're no longer spring chickens? Yeah, spring chickens, we're summer chickens. Okay. But really, the, the, it, it's the beginning of May. We're breaking out our Hawaiian shirts. You know, that's a that's a big sign of change. And that would be would that be the merry merry month of May? It could be. It could be. You know, interesting about the month of May. Once upon a time, when we were kids, May first, May Day, was the I don't know what national celebration for communism. The, yeah, the May Maypole. Day was the communist holiday. May first. Was it? Well, yeah, it has nothing to do with that. Every kind of thing. They have, they have the, the, the Maypole. Didn't yeah. you do the Maypole? People, people forget about uh, uh, communism, and it's May May first has no May, no other meaning that it. Has no meaning like it used to. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. <laughs> uh, do you mind if but, I yawn? <sighs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> thanks a lot. But I like your shirt. Very Thank nice. You. I, 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 e two, Jonathan. <laughs> Actually, you're not a Jonathan, are you? Are you a Jonathan? No. No. You're a John. John. You're yeah. just you're a good hey, old uh, Irish John. Speaking of change. Yeah. COVID has changed. Mm. The, the world, all of a sudden, uh, now there's, there, I go to restaurants, and I, I ventured out much more than you did. You, you loved the lockdown. You just embraced it. You wore double masks. You, did, you just love that stuff. I tried to take a more practical point of view. I wore a mask from going into crowds. I didn't wear it if I didn't need to. And I resented, believe me, I've truly resented this whole lockdown thing. And we could go into that and the politics of it, but I'd rather not. But times have changed. Now I go into a restaurant, only the servers are wearing masks. And not every restaurant, just most restaurants. And uh, most other stores, they're not wearing masks. They're wearing masks, I'm trying to think, in Target. And they're wearing masks in places like that. And what but, about bank uh, robbers? Bank robbers are still wearing masks, are they? I'm not sure. Huh? <laughs> yeah, maybe they don't. Know. Maybe they don't wear one, so they can't be identified. So, but yeah. John, right? You, I, I think to differ a tad with you, and this is maybe actually eight and a half tads. You said you took a more practical view. Yes. Okay, I don't suspect that you are the best judge of. Defining practical as you just didn't care and you you, you lucked out. Uh, no, but I do notice I do notice that uh, perhaps you took the practical view that the vaccines are really working because you've been vaccinated, and sure. that figured that you got some protection out of it, and you probably did. And I'm glad you did, so that we can continue to have these conversations rather than you be some kind of long COVID or worse kind of dude. Okay, who Unfortunately, got caught up in it. But I do agree. With, I, I think we can agree on this, that uh, it's been a little over two years now since COVID has first come on the scene. Uh, whether whatever your politics are, it was deadly, killed a lot of people, still are in a lot of places. But in the U.S., with all the vaccines we've had, with many with the better treatments that are out there today so that it's not a death sentence, as it seems to have been almost two years ago, you got it, you're screwed. And therefore you want to lock down. My, yeah, my problem, my problem has always been from the beginning is the, this, the facts were that it really affected old people. It affected us, it affected our generation. And we were the ones in danger. Well, more severe danger because we had- have had the protection and, and instead we had a massive lockdown. And now China's going, I can't believe China's doing this lockdown thing as we speak. I, I don't understand that. These 
these the, people. The, are, re the reason the, the reason is they don't have they don't have because they haven't adopted some of the better vaccines. It just every time they loosen things up, it runs rampant again. So, uh, 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 and it may speak to the fact that if so many people there have had it, why don't they have herd immunity? Maybe it needs a little boost from something. You know what? We're not qualified to talk about that. But the point is that you're right. You have been a lot more. Certainly, you were. You you took, in my opinion, appropriate steps of getting vaccines. Other people haven't, and not everybody was going to get it anyway. But for people over fifty in general who have uh, additional uh, conditions of obesity, high blood pressure, diabetes, yeah. and things like that. We, and, and we I, have over. I beg to ask, who over 50 doesn't have something wrong? Right. So we were all more at risk anyway. And the problem with younger people who uh, might have transmitted to us, that was, I think, what the real problem was. Although there were plenty of cases of long haul COVID but for people who've gotten it, things like that. And I think that's a shame. And hopefully they'll, they'll come out of it. But the real point, the point is, irrespective of how we got here, at least in the United States, we are in a position now where we're treating it more like an endemic, like it's a flu, even though it's probably not as little as that uh, right remember, now. Remember, the flu kills people every year, too. And absolutely, even with all the people taking vaccination. So yep. so we're never going to be uh, uh, free of all these things, but it, I, I don't think it, it any longer is a, a debilitator or killer-like heart attacks. I think for a while it went up there and was almost number one and cancers and things like that. So which, in whatever the reasons are, look, uh, I, who was without doubt more cautious than you were, I still wear masks in supermarkets and things like that and in, in, in stores like that. Although I went to an Angels game recently and didn't have my mask on most of the time, only going to and from. Really? Uh-huh. Really? Uh, I've been doing uh, maskless at um, Little League games for just about the entire year. Well, first of all, you're outside and you're not sitting on top of one another. The only place, yeah. I, by the way, I felt uncomfortable <clears throat> with um, at the, uh, the the ball game was going to and from where people were really crammed next to each other. And I wore a mask on the way in, on the way out. But sitting in the seats, okay, where there's a lot more aeration and also the fact that uh, all of my family had been vaccinated. I suspect a lot of people there were as well. But the real thing that tells me <clears throat> that we're assuming a sense of normalcy, even whether it's for good reason or not, is recently, uh, just this last weekend, was the uh, uh, foreign press, so, uh, not foreign press, the White House Correspondents Center, oh, and yeah. virtually yeah. nobody was masked there. Right. I mean, I saw a few scattered around, but virtually nobody was there. Do I think that's smart? Probably not still at this point. Okay, but, you know, people are out there and they're going to chatting and they're eating and they haven't seen people in a long time. And it'll be yeah. interesting to see whether or not that becomes a super spreader uh, <laughs> event. Well, so uh, one, of the, one of the comedians made a joke about that at the dinner. I saw the news clip of it. And uh, you know what? We, it, it, listen, the, the, the COVID thing, it's apparently mutated and we now have new versions and it's going to be with us for a long time. There were, there have been people who have said that perhaps uh, COVID is going to become like the flu and we'll need to get a shot every year. Right. Not just for the flu, but for COVID, the newest version of COVID as well. So uh, you can't get rid of this stuff in, in any easy manner. I mean, look at, mumps and measles and um, all these diseases that have come through humanity over the years, we still have to deal with them. If we're lucky, they become really minor outbreaks somewhere right. in the middle of nowhere, you know? So we, we can't be stupid about it. Um, but you're right. Talk is now that it's an endemic versus a pandemic. To me, that doesn't sound a whole lot better. <laughs> to be real honest. So I'm still, of even though I am much more, um, dare I use the word, liberal about <laughs> my... And, I, and, 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 and we sound like Donnie Marie, a, little bit of, yeah. uh, a country a little bit rock and roll. I'm a lot more conservative about that uh, than you are. Really? Yeah. 
Yeah, but anyway, it's it, it. I think it's still smart for us to to recognize. Again, the target audience for this disease is over fifty, particularly with people who have uh, other health issues. You have to recognize that, and you can't be stupid about it. Uh, if I were a correspondent, you know what? I might not have gone to that dinner uh, without a mask. I'm not sure these booster shots are, are doing anything for us. So, but I get them. What I I'm not willing to take the chance that the that without the booster, I have no protection. So I, I take a booster. I don't know how much good it's going to do, but. Well, now that now that we have opined on something of which we have little to no medical or, or backing, no. right? Uh, but but just sort of recognizing what everybody is that it's we're opening up more. Uh, I I like because you've given us the opening on this. I'd like to close oh, with wait, saying wait, wait, to everyone. I have a factoid for us. Oh really? A little, okay. A do I have to do I have to bring up Google? I saw on the news this morning that I think it's Carnival Cruise Lines is the first cruise line to go back fully open. They're, they've got all the ships back at sea now. They had basically gone out of business for a year, as I understand, and they b brought ships back online for cruises bit by bit. Now all their ships well, are back. Well, let me share a factoid with you, and I know this to be true because it's what I, I do, is that I decided not to do cruises. They had me at Legionnaire's disease. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so they didn't need COVID to convince me not to go on a ship and uh, get uh, flame and diarrhea from yeah. shared. Uh, OK, <laughs> I the the only thing uh, what was a salad place that I like to go to all the time that we met. At? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the salad bar, whatever it's called. The open, the open salad right. bar. Right. Oh, I, I, I miss that. But that was basically uh, a cruise ship. It was that open salad yeah. bars and meats yeah. and everything on steroids. Uh, yeah. So in any event, so now that you shared that factoid, okay, and that's really quite interesting to anybody who will go on a cruise again. And I, I know people who have been going on cruises. Uh, let me say with, with John's self-admission, he's outed himself, okay, uh, as a liberal. Uh, to my liberal partner, Okay, I never thought I'd be able to say this, but you, you've opened it. To my liberal leaning uh, my partner and to everybody out there, stay safe and enjoy a sense of normalcy uh, uh, as we begin to wind down the kind of restrictions that other countries now are still uh, involved with. So I hope it clears up for everybody so it becomes just an endemic yeah. worldwide. And, and listen, it's a, it's a wonderful development that we're leaning towards normalcy and mm -hmm. that we're going to at some point get there. We got what what's the phrase they say we're going to have to learn to live with it. I, right. I think that's probably accurate. But remember, if you're over 50 and you have health issues, you know, you're at risk. Don't be stupid about it. Right. And by the way, and, and if it continues on this trend, then we can go back to hating one another for so many different other things we don't need covid to hate one another. <laughs> anyway, it's been uh, fun talking to you. And uh, if you uh, want to um, shoot us, shoot us an, an email, please do so. Uh, shoot if us you, an email no. in case they disagree with us, uh, and or you have a different take on it. But anyway, I think that um, from, as John might now say, happy days are on the brink of being here again. I'm not sure I'd say that. I'd say stay healthy. Take care of yourself. Well, we want you we want you to watch all our, <laughs> our weekly blogs. So take care of yourself. Yeah, we, we don't want to lose subscribers. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube. And tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.